You know, every life is a story, none with more plot twists than the life story of Richard Nixon. And how he is remembered depends, I guess, on who you are and where you were when part of that story unfolded. News 4's Steve Dunlop reports. I shall resign the presidency effective at noon tomorrow. August 1974. Richard Nixon was on TV, ending his career. I was at a typewriter starting mine. I was a 19-year-old radio reporter, and my assignment was to get street reaction to the political story of the decade. I heard little sadness that night, but plenty of anger and sarcasm. Well, not at one time did uh, Nixon admit his guilt in the Watergate. We said he felt very close to us, so I, most likely it's because he had his hand in our pockets all this time. The speech itself was a, a tearjerker. He tried to play on the sympathies of the public. He was just so dishonest in office. I'm really very upset about it. Twenty years have passed. What we heard today, as opposed to then, is remarkable. What are your thoughts on the passing of Richard Nixon? I think it's probably one of the biggest losses in uh, recent times, you know. Um, I'm privileged to be alive, you know, to, to, to witness such a passing. What happened to Watergate happened, that's the past. He was the boss, he had a lot of people working for him. They're the ones who made the problems for him. We sought our opinions in front of the United Nations. Perhaps no place in the world is so associated with the elusive dream of world peace. The dream that one day we will tie our guns in knots and throw them out. Nixon was convinced that would never happen unless the great powers learned to accept their differences and cooperate. He called that process detente. Those who knew him believe Nixon's foreign policy triumphs will have a more practical, long-term impact than Watergate. I hope President Nixon will be remembered as a fine foreign policy president. I think it's a great human story, and it's the reason why so many people have written about him. Uh, they've actually done operas about Richard Nixon. Very few presidents have operas done about them because he is a great human story. There will always be those for whom the very name provokes a strong visceral reaction. But clearly, for many of us, time and now death have mellowed our once strong opinions about Richard Milhouse Nixon. One can only wonder if that says as much about him as it does about us. Steve Dunlop, News 4, New York.